Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, I like it. See Wallbanger front and center there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Of course, I had to. <laughs> Although I do, I, I wouldn't mind having a cover that has the poster on it. That would be cute. Oh. If, if they did like a movie tie-in, because I know they do that sometimes. Ah, uh, yeah, they were talking about that. I don't know. That might. Do you know anything about I don't that? Know. They're gonna read. They're gonna be on books. We heard things. We just yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, I hope it happens. Just want to make this sure. Okay, I'll go when they say go. How do I make this lip? Oh, it must be all the way up. Okay. What, what were you trying to do? I was trying to make it louder, but I think I think we're good now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the zooms are always interesting. I do a lot of zooms at my job, so it's very very yeah. interesting. You never know what you're gonna get with like Zoom audio delays things. Mm hmm. Okay. I don't know if we can start or. I'm just waiting for them to say we can go. Oh, yeah. Because I don't want to start too early. Oh, yeah. Okay, now we can start. Okay. All right. Well, I'm Jasmine from Fangirlish. So, how are you two? Great. How are you? Nice to meet you, Jasmine. I'm good. Nice to meet you, too. Um, obviously, you know, I've seen Wallbanger, which I loved. I thought it was hilarious. Both of you guys have such great chemistry, and I couldn't take my eyes off both of you the, the entire time that you were interacting with each other. So, like, my first question is, both Simon and Caroline, they literally give as good as they get. So, what was, like, your favorite thing about playing that push and pull between those two characters? Oh, um, I'm, I'm not sure I understood. I'm sorry. Uh, the, no, no, no. The, the chemistry as far as the chemistry. Yes. yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Like how they go back and forth with each other. Like she's not afraid to say what's on her mind, and he's not afraid to say what's on his mind. Like she's yeah. literally like, "I'm gonna tell you how I feel," and that's how it is. And he's basically, yeah. like, well, "I'm gonna do the same thing." <laughs> I think. I think her general dynamic, her way. The way you be the way like, I am is like that. We were like there so, were so many times where we were filming and I'm like, why are we like literally Simon and Caroline right now? Just like our dynamic. And I yeah. feel like there were so many times where like I had to like pull something out of you true. a little bit, or I tried to like break the tension with humor and like you were a little more mysterious like definitely when i first met you i'm like this is i mean this is feeling very like accurate to to the, to the book a little bit yeah so there was a lot of like reality um mm, it's true yeah dynamics it's definitely some parallels yeah and then also focusing on 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 book on work um uh i don't know what <laughs> I think something else. Sorry, totally lost my train. It happens. It happens to us all. When you're talking, everybody has those moments where, like, what was I trying to say? Like, it might, it, it, it might come back to you. It might not. Bring us what back. Did you say? I said it might come back and it might not. We'll see. No, I remember. It's, uh, it's back. It's back. No, focusing so much on trying to get the delivery right, the lines right, and kind of sometimes losing losing touch a little, and having Tosca come in, and she would say. You guys, just be yourselves. It's a rom com. Just interact the way you yeah. do on set when we're not filming, and and that would kind of drop us right in. Yeah. So well, that's interesting. Just kind of. Or you're just like you're so focused on the lines and the work the and and getting the day done that it's like a lot of it was like you just have to like you just gotta like release a, that mm -hmm. and just laugh through it and not take it too seriously. Allowing the organic chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And well, how difficult was it for you guys to shoot the water park in Caroline's apartment? <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun day. That was really fun. And a little trouble. You can tell that story. This guy really wanted to do his own studs. Oh and my goodness. Did against Tosca's wishes. Uh, yeah. One I take for one take. Slammed into the uh, the cupboard on one of the takes. Kind of dismantling the thing and it had to be reset. There was a moment where we run into each other. Mark collision. Uh -huh. Like, did you fall all the way down to the floor? I think my towel came completely off at one point. It was like There's... there were so many mishaps like during that. It was so happy like a linebacker. It's actually 
I'm sorry. I was like <laughs> trying to have a real collision. <laughs> uh, That's actually hilarious. Because Tosca awesome. was like that day. That was so much fun. You had that to be under the water for a long time. Uh, we had stunt doubles. That it was I mean, there's no shortage of physical comedy. That was a blast. Yeah. The food stuff is also the stuff. Good stuff. The physical comedy of the food and the table. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's all coming back to me. <laughs> That's actually hilarious because when I asked Tosca about shooting that scene, she was like, oh, we thought it was gonna be like this big deal, and then it ended up not being so bad. But you guys were like, um, we were bumping into covers and crashing into each other's towels were holy. like yeah. two different two different sides of it because you guys are the, yeah, it's the ones that were stopping wet in the water and slamming into cupboards and sliding across the floor. It was a little more involved <laughs> very, very still, still fun now it's funny too because i remember when i read that part in the book i was like how are they going to pull this off in the movie because i'm like that's like a lot of sliding and even when you when, when simon slides i'm like oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it, it, cre it created the reaction that it needed to <laughs> okay and so when you guys played this or that with passion flicks they asked you rom-com or horror, and you both chose rom-com, which is interesting because you've been in, you've done Scream, so you've done a lot of horror, but what are your go-to rom-coms? I think I might, have meant, I might have mentioned this I, in another I know. video. I mean, one of my favorite movies is 10 Things I Hate About You. Um, I dressed up as it for Halloween last year, the two characters, my boyfriend and I did that. Um, that is like my my comfort movie, 100%. That's Let's a classic. Face. Sure. Um, probably Wallbanger. Good answer. Good <laughs> answer. Shame, shameless self promotion. Yeah, answer. Yeah. answer. <laughs> I'm like, you're in Puerto Rico and you're promoting you it, so why not? <laughs> okay. Okay. So Wallbanger starts out because of an annoying neighbor. So do you guys have any of your own annoying neighbor storylines? Sorry, I'm this. <laughs> Annoying neighbor. I'm trying to think. I, I've had a neighbor that wasn't necessarily annoying, but he would just stand on the balcony across sometimes. Are you like, what are you doing? Stare. Just kind of stare. I had a neighbor <laughs> that would, in an older apartment that I lived in, would last like what felt like Dunkirk like every night, like explosions and war and like the loud, he must have had- Gamer. He must have, I don't yeah. think so. Maybe, I don't know. He must have had surround sound. I had seen him in the hallway a few times. I also, he like had this thing brought into his apartment one time that looked like a spaceship. I don't know what it was. I couldn't figure out this dude, but he loved watching the loudest movies ever and had all of the um, the whole sound system the sound bar the surround sound that's probably the most annoying it ever got for me i will say that though the wall banging is a common phenomenon and you've experienced it at least in maybe a hotel oh yeah, oh, yeah. for sure actually another apartment of mine yeah it's never in an apartment. i heard it above me oh, yeah. a few times you know I have never experienced that at all. That, that, that hasn't happened to me. And I'm going to go with what Amadea said. That might be, it might be a little bit of both for the neighbor you had. It might be a gamer and a movie watcher because that like, it sounds like some next level equipment that was coming Never through. figured it out. I don't know. And Jasmine, last question, okay? Okay. All right. So last question I'm going to ask is, was Caroline's cat? Clive, a good scene partner. I, I, I talked to Kathy and she said you guys had three cats snap. Yes. Oh, I love talking about Clive. I think he might be my favorite character, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, we had three cats in um, when we were shooting in Georgia, Snap, Crackle, and Pop. They all had different specialties, so they knew when to bring in certain cats. One was like a really big cuddler. One was really good at chasing things and scratching things. Um, so they all had their specialties. And I was actually really impressed with some of the things we were able to shoot with the cat. Like there is the scene where the cat is chasing Nadia and 
the, the cat, I could have, like, we thought for sure we were going to have to piece this scene together. We weren't totally sure how we were going to film it, but the cat ran through Kathy's legs around the corner. You and I bump into each other, and it, we got it all in one shot somehow. Oscar worthy. I don't yeah. think there's an Oscar for cats, but maybe, maybe <laughs> passion. Maybe there should be. Or it's passion. It's an animal. Maybe, uh, an animal. That's a good, yeah, that's good idea. We had a fourth cat in San Francisco, the one that you see in the box at the beginning of the movie. Aww. All really well behaved cats and I'm a cat person so it was just like a dream to walk on set and have like three cats at all times and also yeah there's a there's a diffusing that happens when you have an animal on set you forget you're on set it's just... mm -hmm. when everyone like talks a little quieter and it's like a little more like a little nicer and a little like you have to be quiet for that yeah because they get they... scared by loud noises so it was like I mean they were the star when <laughs> they were on set so rightfully so well, I thank you both for your time and congratulations on the film. Have fun at PassionCon. Thank you so much. Lovely talking to you. Bye. Thank you. Take care.